Hello everyone, this is Brian Boatwright with the Brian Boatwright Show, and today I want to talk to you about a solution to the mass shooting crisis in schools today. Um, it just seems like every single day, and it's, although that may be an exaggeration, but it seems a lot that we're having a lot of school shootings in our nation. And uh, some of the latest calls to action is uh, armed teachers, and I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. But that's something that's going to be have to go through society to figure out what's going on. And I know a lot of people go, well, listen, this is a law enforcement issue, and shouldn't they take it? Well, it, it is, and, and it also is expensive. So unless we want our taxes to be raised in a, on a, you know, on a huge level, and uh, the, those men and women that do that work and do a great job, and they are already overworked. So what I'm saying is to do something that we can do to this day, today. That we can have, but we're going to need the help of the President of the United States. We're going to need the help of both Congresses, and that is, so the help of the President as well as House, the House of Con both Houses of Congress, and that is putting the military and National Guard in our schools as soon as possible. I understand that this may be uh, there are a lot of things that need to be hashed out before this can be done. Uh, the first, uh, but there are some things that can help us along today, and what I mean by that, the military is already used to being rotated different places and put on temporary assigned duty, such as in recruiting. Second, uh, the, the military and the National Guard can be trained by uh, local law enforcement to see what happens and what they're going to do in a particular situation. So that way everybody has the same information going forward in an event of this that would occur. And this will cut down on the confusion of having what do we do, what's going on. Finally, you need to have one law enforcement or service member, you'd have, excuse me, you'd have to have one National Guard or one service member in each of the K through 12 schools in our country. That's a minimum of three, and then with a minimum of three of them in each school. Why I say three is because you can have one that's physically there, one that's probably going to be under training, and every so often you're going to have one that's sick or needs to do something else. And then that way you'll at least have one person at all times in that school. Uh, the final step is, uh, you know, really is the, get that message out there that we are no longer going to let people um, dictate terms of what our schools do. Our schools should be the safest place, one of the safest places on the planet, and it's not right now. But I think we can get back to that on a very safe, quick, and efficient manner. Um, another thing I would like your help with is, first you got to contact your the president, you got to contact your uh, your houses or Congress. But another thing I want you to do is to contact the media, let them know that we no longer want to hear about people's names, about who does these terrible crimes. Half of this thing is I think these lunatics are trying to get their names recognition in the paper, and we don't need that, or excuse me, the paper, or on, on uh, social media, or the news. And that's something we should work on, and that's a media question, and I would love to help. I'm not down in the media, I'm just saying that we need to work at making sure that they're, that unless it's a crisis of the moment, um, that they should be able to not name these people. If that person's on the loose and free, yes, they need to name that person. But to give them name recognition and so they can go in and being the, the one that killed 100 people, 1,000 people, I don't want that again. And I'm sure pretty much everybody who's who within my voice probably agrees. So anyway, that's all I have for you. Sorry to keep, keep uh, take your time. I know you're it's very important what you do. I appreciate your time. Uh, come back for some more. We'll talk some more about this if, if you so choose. Um, Again, as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you soon. That's Brian Boy, right? The Brian Boy Show.